everyone, and thanks for joining us. The digital landscape is undergoing rapid evolution, and at the forefront of this transformation is the growing interest in artificial intelligence, AI, among marketers. AI's ability to analyze vast amounts of data, predict consumer behavior, and deliver personalized content has made it an indispensable tool for modern marketing strategies. With me today are AOE's Alec Eisenson and Laura Merritt, who will discuss how marketers can leverage AI-driven insights to craft more targeted campaigns, optimize ad spending, and enhance customer experiences. Let's get started by sharing some facts about AI. Alec? Thank you, Janice. AI is simply the science of making machines smart. You don't need to be an expert in AI to take advantage of what it enables. You just need to understand that it's possible. According to the Marketing AI Institute, 80% of what marketers do every day will be intelligently automated to some degree in the next years. AI won't replace marketers, but marketers who use AI will replace those who don't. That sounds ominous. What should organizations be thinking about and when? It does seem daunting, but with so many AI tools out there today and more coming and involving constantly, we have what we need to succeed. We just need to know where to start. Organizations should start by examining their marketing practices. What are they doing today that could be improved, whether it's freeing up their time for other things or improving the effectiveness of their strategies? AI can take your business to a whole new level. As consumer expectations for seamless and relevant interactions rise, the fusion of AI with marketing not only offers competitive advantages, but is becoming a fundamental component for brands striving for market leadership and deeper consumer engagement. Thanks, Alec. Now, Laura, what can you tell us about the types of AI out there? Well, Janice, there are many types, but our focus today is primarily on language AI, computer vision, predictive AI, and generative AI. So language AI includes natural language generation, natural language processing, sentiment analysis, speech to text, text to speech, text analysis and summarization, and translation and voice recognition. Computer vision includes emotion detection, image analysis and, and generation, image recognition, facial recognition, movement detection, video generation, and video recognition. Then we get to predictive AI, which involves forecasting, pattern recognition, personalization, and recommendation. And then lastly, generative AI, and that is the AI that is typically built using foundation models and has capabilities that earlier AI did not have such as the ability to generate content. Foundation models can also be used for non-generative purposes. For example, classifying user sentiment as negative or positive based on call transcripts. And it can do this while offering significant improvement over earlier models. Some examples of generative AI include chat, GPT, and BARD. Yes, there's been a lot of talk about that last one, particularly ChatGPT. So now that we know the types of AI that marketers should be most focused on, how can AI help us do things better? Well, there are a ton of things AI can do for marketers. These include creating ads, finding new audiences, running campaigns, making predictions, monitoring industry news, measuring program and strategy effectiveness, also developing content, conducting outreach to trade publications, and creating, producing, and uploading um, and sharing social media content. And those are just the tip of the iceberg. AI can also assist with e-commerce, customer service, email marketing, sales, and search engine optimization. And AI can can create intelligent website experiences, which basically uncover content based on audience members' past behavior and preferences, as well as relevant content based on those preferences. Wow, that's an impressive list of capabilities. Thanks, Laura. Alec, how does an organization start using AI? So the first step is to identify a handful of projects that are likely to be a good fit for testing AI. 
there are two approaches we can use when choosing the projects. Um, with the problem-based model, you're focused on projects that have a known pain point and or challenge. With the use case model, you look at projects that will provide a quick win. These are well-defined and more likely to succeed even without AI. Although AI will likely improve efficiencies and enhance the outcome, it's important to remember that it is not about how advanced the AI is. It's about how much your efficiency and performance can improve through intelligent automation of processes and tasks. That's a great point, Alec. The focus should be on how your processes can be improved. Can you talk about the five P's of marketing AI? Yeah, so the five P's of marketing AI are planning, production, personalization, promotion, and performance. Um, an example of how AI can assist with planning is its ability to forecast campaign results. Imagine if we had been able to forecast how a campaign would resonate before we even launched it. Would we have done anything differently? Um, AI also can also track real-time news and trends. Think about the impact this could have on social media content, for example. AI informs us about what's trending. We have AI revised content to reflect or incorporate that trend into what we're trying to produce. Many of us already dabbling into intelligent production using chat GPT for writing blogs, social posts, and articles. Thinking about taking it to the next level with graphics, there are AI tools that can generate impressive images based on a written description you provide. And I really like AI's ability to personalize. Thinking about the e-blast that you send out, it goes out to your entire audience based on the time you select. What if you could use AI to personalize the distribution so that individual recipients received it at the time they're most likely to read it? For promotion, uh, think about social media content we're posting every day. Imagine being able to automate monitoring and moderating of comments to your posts as well as those that mention AOE or our clients on a board on a broad scale. And lastly, performance. We can be overwhelmed with the amount of data coming at us daily. What if you could use AI to evaluate the data you have gathered for a campaign and generate an easy to understand report that could be shared with your board, leadership, employees, and customers? A task that would take AI minutes or even seconds to do could take us longer. It's amazing what AI can do to enhance the things we do every day. Now, shifting back to what we touched on regarding getting started, Laura, can you elaborate on how to get started? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Janice. As Alec mentioned earlier, for most, the best way to get started with AI will be quick win pilot projects with narrowly defined use cases and high probabilities of success. Um, some examples of how AI could be used in an organization include measuring a campaign's return on investment, adapting audience targeting based on behavior, optimizing website content for search engine, uh, forecasting campaign results, uh, predicting winning creative, and a whole lot more. Um, thinking in terms of a specific use case, um, for example, measuring the effectiveness of content or a campaign, wouldn't it be great to gain insights into what drove the, cam the campaigns that were top performers as you're planning the next one? I mean, we're all working on some project campaign or event on any given day. Think of just one of these while you're considering how you could use AI. Thanks, Laura. How do you know whether AI is a good fit for your project? Huh. That's a really good question, Janice. Once you've identified your pilot project, you should evaluate both the value and the ability of AI to help you meet your goals for the project. So ask yourself, can AI intelligently automate all or portions of this activity with value being delivered by potential time and money saved? And what's the increased probability of achieving our business goals? And does it have the ability to intelligently automate the activity based on existing technology and, or solutions that could be built with the right resources. So when starting your pilot, it's important to have a clear use case, essentially what you want AI to do. You need to determine how you will measure the impact by creating smart goals and commit to allowing the appropriate time to learn the technology and to test it. And anything less than 90 days 
will likely not give you a good feel for whether the AI tool or tools you're using um, are making a positive impact. Okay, thanks, Laura. Alec, what are some things an organization can do to activate AI? Uh, so people may be surprised to know that they may have already activated it, albeit not in a strategic way. For example, many have started playing around with generative AI like ChatGPT, but they are doing this without any direction from leadership, just kind of testing it out. It's really important to be strategic. This includes educating and training staff and leadership, evaluating AI vendors, developing custom AI solutions, and preparing data by removing uh, corrupt or inaccurate or even irrelevant records. Integrating and activating the new solutions. Uh, in addition, it's vital that organizations establish rules and for the use of the AI, for example, ethical use and proprietary or security requirements. Thanks, Alec. You mentioned evaluating AI vendors. How do you know which ones are worthy of your time and potentially an investment? So you need to ask the questions. Uh, what is the company's position on ethics in AI? How do they help customers maintain security and compliance? How do they use AI in their products? What level of intelligent automation can we expect in the beginning and what level can we reach over time? And what makes their AI powered solutions smarter than traditional approaches? Um, will it improve efficiencies and performance? Yeah, and if, if I may add, you should also be asking what in-house capabilities you need. Do they provide training and will you need additional outside support to use their solution? Thanks to both of you on that. Um, my next question is, why should an organization consider, consider incorporating AI into their business strategies? So the biggest risk of not moving quickly to adopt AI is that you risk becoming obsolete. Obsolete organizations are those that wait for the world around them to get smarter. They don't seek to learn about AI either because they don't see how it can help them or they see it as a kind of like fad that will eventually pass. It should be noted that AI doesn't replace the need to develop value products or services, creating amazing client experiences or building a strong brand or continuously investing in your talent and culture. However, the competitive advantages gained by organizations that are open to the possibilities of AI will be too great for those not using AI to overcome in the, in the coming years. Thanks, Alec. So Laura, do you have any thoughts to add as we wrap this up? Uh, yes, the tools exist today that are transformative for your organization. Your challenge is to uncover these solutions and take them for a test drive. But vetting AI vendors can be time consuming, especially if you're starting from scratch as can identifying pilot projects for testing the different AI solutions. At AOE, we're combining technical expertise with an understanding of AI's broader implications and ethics to better equip ourselves and our clients for success in this really exciting era. The AI world is constantly evolving and AOE can help you in your journey. Well, thank you, Alec and Laura. AI is definitely not a flash in the pan. It's here to stay and going to be going to play a bigger role than many can imagine in the near future. Are you ready? Reach out to AOE today to learn more and visit our website at aoeteam.com. Thank you.